Okay, so I'm doing this video and I really hope that I'm going to get comments because I need to understand. So it's kind of late and I thought, let me have a conversation with men. Let me have a straightforward conversation with men because I, I'm sorry I'm going to swear in this video. I don't fucking understand you guys. I don't fucking understand you. And I'm just wondering like, what's the obsession with sex? Like, let's face it, roughly, it's not that very long. You are getting like, what, three, four seconds of orgasm and you're ready to screw up an entire fucking life, an entire fucking relationship. And you're ready to do things that you wouldn't do if you really think about it like properly. For a few seconds of pleasure, you're ready to like, fuck up someone's life you're ready to like do things that you know are are hurting someone else for a fucking second of of orgasm and i, I just want to know like i i just really want to know like don't get me wrong sex is very nice but it's very nice when you're like kind of in in a connection with people maybe it's because i went to spiritual awakening and i i'm not like the rest of the fucking human beings anymore. But like, I don't fucking understand. What's the point with the fucking OnlyFans and the porn? What's the point with the fucking porn? Like, I want to understand what is it that you guys are so fucking obsessed with women that have more fucking plastic in their body than the entire fucking recycling bin that I've got in my kitchen. Like, I want to know what's the point of you guys following those girls on Instagram, following them on TikTok, following them on their fucking page and paying fucking money, like paying money. Like, I mean, do, do you see the price of the fucking milk now? Do you see the fucking price of the groceries and all that? And you're ready to fucking pay to, to see videos of girls that are all fucking fake, that are not like reflecting the fucking reality. Like you're ready to pay money money that is really hard earned now nowadays you're ready to pay to see fucking plastic girls uh, uh fucking touch their vagina for like a video of like three minutes like i, I want to know what's what's your fucking obsession with only fan girls and, and and all of this bullshit like i want to know what's the obsession with men and the sexual industry and porn and all that and like why is it that some of you now tend to uh, get into relationships with those girls. Like, why do you get in a relationship with girls like that? Like, I, I just, I just want to understand. Like, do you enjoy seeing other men jerking off on pictures and videos of your girlfriend? Like, you're gonna marry a girl that you know that is filming in her bedroom videos that other men are gonna jerk off to. Is that like, what's the obsession? Like, is that really what you want? Like, do you want to share your woman? I want to understand, like, what type of men are willing to share their woman with a, a bunch of other guys? Like, maybe, maybe you're going to tell me it, it's a fucking bunch of weirdos and, like, you're looking at low class, low thinking mentality man, like a high mentality man, a man that's, um, serious in his life that's co career oriented goal oriented will not settle with a girl like that maybe that's some of the answers i'm gonna get in the comment i, I don't fucking know but I i'm really trying to understand here what the man's obsession with fucking only fans girl and being so obsessed that you're following like following thousands of girls on fucking social medias that have only sexual content and exposing their bodies and showing their fucking tits all over the place. Like, I want to know what's the obsession with that. Like, I'm trying to understand. I'm studying in psychology. Like, I'm trying to understand the fucking human brain and how men are functioning. And it drives me fucking nuts. And I want to understand. Like, I I'm not like... I'm not going to judge some of the comments. I really, really please do want to understand. I want to understand what's the obsession with men and pornography. I want to know why are you guys so obsessed with women that are working in the sex industries? Why, why are you like so obsessed with them? Like what makes it so fucking special to look at all the jerks? To me, they all look alike. I'm sorry. They all have tattoos, sleeves, big tits, uh, the lips and the long brown hair or blonde hair. They all look the same shit. I mean, to me, I see Christina, I see Vanessa, I see Sabrina. They all look the fucking same. It's the same girl, different pose, different underwears. Like, I mean, I'm, I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Nowadays, the, the, the model type frame of girls now, it's, it's the tattoos, the big tits, the fucking hair 
extensions and, and the lashes and the lips and the, and they all look the fucking same. Like, let's just be honest. That's society nowadays. You want to be a sexy girl? Go get a sleeve. Go get injections. Put yourself some extensions. Go get your lashes done and, and get your boobs done. And you're every man's dream. Like, that's it. But, like, I'm just saying, like, what's the obsession? Like, I want to know because I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand as well. Like, what makes you want to pay in a world where things are costing so much and you're just paying, paying to see content of girl touching their fucking boobs and vagina on, on videos. Like it's, it's, when you think about it, it's fucking dumb. I'm sorry. I have to say it like it's fucking dumb. Like there are people starving and you go and you pay like $10 a month to see like sexual content. When if you get a girlfriend, she's going to probably want to do this for free for you if you treat her well. Like, but no, you, you have to see, and, and you have to, I mean, you have to see the same fucking girls that all look alike with the sleeve and the tits and the, and the, and the makeup and like, and they all look at same. <laughs> it's like Christina times 10, you know, like I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to understand like what, and, and then when you, when you get with a regular girl, a girl that works nine to five, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Are you still going to be going on OnlyFans? Are you still going to be going and look at those girls? When you when you get in a relationship with a normal girl that works a job, that works with her brain, that doesn't show her cleavage. Like, when you get with a regular woman, how is it going to work? Are you going to get bored? Are you going to go back to porn? Are you going to, like, I, I want to understand how fucking man works because I'm, I'm, I'm losing my fucking shit. I don't get it anymore. I really don't get what you guys want. Before, it used to be like, those are the girls that we jerk off on, but we don't get married to them. But now it's kind of like getting popular that guys are actually dating those girls. They're actually going out with those girls. They're actually willing to share their women with multiple men. And, and I'm like, is it because it gives you the freedom to do the same on your own. So that's why you're like, I'm going to go out with this girl because I know there's guy jerking off on her, which means she won't get mad if I sleep with 10,000 girls. Is that why? Because you guys don't want to be in an open relationship because you can't commit to one woman because monogamy doesn't exist anymore. Like, I I'm just... Please help me. I, I don't... I I'm, past I'm past this point of understanding how men are functioning these days like I don't, I don't get it I just don't get it so I'm posting this video on my YouTube I hope I'm gonna get comments I hope it's gonna it's gonna reach out people I, I need explanation I I want to understand I I just don't fucking get it anymore and I'm curious I want to know what's the fucking obsession with the only fan girls like what's your fucking problem and I mean on Instagram they're everywhere they're on TikTok they're everywhere and you see those guys and it's all the same it's all the same I'm telling you look at those girls most of them tattoos sleeves tattoos in the neck they got the boobs they got the extension they got the fucking lashes they're all the same Christina and Vanessa same girl different hairstyle I mean they all look the same. It's like it's like there's a, a machine that's shitting Barbie dolls and they all come out the same. It's just the name is different and the hair color is different. It's really funny. And you guys are like so obsessed with them, like following them on their Instagram and everything. Like, I want to understand what's the sensation that this three seconds of gives you and why are you tempted to do that? Like, why are you so obsessed instead of having a mental connection, a physical and spiritual connection with one person that's going to love you no matter what the fuck happens, that's going to be there for you, that's going to give you the intimacy, the the love that's unconditional. Like, I, I, I don't understand why men choose porn and easy sex and little jerking off on the side quickly and... There's no more the, um, this connection that men don't want connection anymore. It's like, they don't want to have a connection, a spiritual connection with someone. They don't want to connect. They don't want to click physically. They don't want to be in something that's like two souls getting together and like vibing at the same vibe and just like having hours of sex because you're just like so much in in this kind of fusion together. Like this doesn't exist anymore. 
And I mean, even think about it when you date and you go out with a guy, the guy's going to come over. He's going to like finish in a second and he's going to leave and, and then you won't hear about him anymore. Like it's just, it's, it's fucking boring. It's dull and it's just stupid. And I think that's partly the problem. Why sexual encounters like relationships are not working anymore because you guys are so obsessed with the only fat girls and the easy porn and the easy sex and the fast fast consumption like let's jerk off in a second and it's done we don't have to worry about anything it's it's like it's fast it's quick thank you very much i paid my five dollars i got my video of her like shitting on her pants and that's it like i'm done like i, I just i i I'm, I'm i'm losing my words now it's just I need to understand. I really want to understand. It's like, I don't know what time it is at night. Like, I just woke up and I'm like, fuck this shit. I have to make a video. I, I need to get it. I need to get it because, like, it's helping me in, in my studies. It's helping me, like, try to understand the man brain and how it fucking works. Because I feel like it's, it's you guys are just getting worse and worse. And you're just getting so obsessed with the only fan girls. And it's like, you're not giving up on it. And you're just, like, following them and they're everywhere. I mean, nowadays your sister, your sister is making videos of her pussy on Instagram. Like, I mean, I mean, what the fuck is this? Where, where is this world going? Like, where are the working people? Like, where are the people going to university? Where are the people studying? Like, where are the people waking up in the morning and taking the coffee, getting in the car and going to a regular job and doing it? And I understand people are going to tell me, yeah, but think about it. They, they're home. They can travel, they can do whatever the fuck they want, and they're making money while showing up their pussy. Yeah, okay, but you know what? I want to be, I wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a singer when I was 16 years old, and the reason why I didn't make it in the industry is because I said no to sucking cocks. <laughs> like, I said no to sell my body to make it in that industry. Back in the days that hashtag me too wasn't on, like it wasn't a thing, people weren't, what, weren't talking about it. And I said no. I said I wasn't going to sleep my way to the top. And I gave up music because of that. So, and music was my passion, was my dream, was my biggest dream I don't think that I would be able to sell my pussy on OnlyFans for a few hundred dollars if I didn't want to sell my pussy for a record deal. And I would be today probably a singer and do what I love the most in the world. So maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my values. Maybe I'm just... I'm just a loner. I'm just the, this one girl laugh that doesn't want to sell my pussy for a few bucks. Like, I don't know. But it's just, it's just fucking driving me crazy. I need to understand what's your fucking obsession with the fucking Barbie doll on OnlyFans. Like, what are you getting out of this shit? Like, I, I don't get it. And then you come over to a real woman and you can't give her an orgasm. You can't take care of her. Because you're so used to watching the tits of Brenda on fucking OnlyFans and touching your pee-pee for a few seconds that when you have a real woman in front of you, you don't know what to fucking do. Like, I just... Ah! Uh, anyway, I have to put it out there. I'm so sorry. This is not going to be a video for kids because I'm swearing so much. I'm talking about vaginas and stuff. But I really, I really need it to, to put this out there. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And it's true. And then, I mean, you get men that come in front of you and they come to see you and they have no clue how to touch you or how to, they just think that, oh, here's, here's a hole. Let me put my finger in it. And like, you don't know what to do. You have no clue what to fucking do. But yet you're on Instagram following Brenda, Vanessa, Titty05, Titty07, Titty010. And you look at those girls, and yet when you get a normal woman that shouldn't intimidate you, like I'm not Brenda the titties with a bunch of followers, like I'm not the superstar of OnlyFans, I'm just a regular girl that works a 9-to-5 job that goes to school, and you get naked in front of me, and you have no idea how to touch me. No idea. You suck. <laughs> like, let's just be honest here. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry, man. I have to tell you. You suck. But yet, you're following all those girls. And you're like constantly watching porn, jerking off on porn, watching those girls on lives. And yet, when you get in front of a real woman, like a, a flesh woman, not a woman on your screen, you have no clue how to touch her and how to please her. Where the fuck is this world going? Like, I'm just... 
It's the, I think it's the end of commitment. I think it's the end of relationships. I think it's the end of women being in a committed relationship with men. I think that we're just going to procreate with you guys. I think that we're going to use your sperm to have babies because the world's going to need a new generation to carry on. And I think that it's going to be the end of a relationship. Like, I mean, everybody's going to live alone. Everybody's going to consume food alone. Everybody's going to buy stuff alone. Everybody's going to be alone, travel alone. And I think that that's what's going to happen with the world. It's the end of relationship. It's the end of connections. It's completely the end of men and women's connection. Like, I think it's, it's just over. It's over. And this is all doomed thanks to social media, to pornography, to all of this fucking thing that they're putting in man's brain. And I mean, think about it. You have to shower, you have to look nice, you have to get dressed, you have to impress the girl to get laid, yet Brenda's gonna send you a video of her cleavage and her vagina with a cucumber inside, and you can stay dirty at home with your oily gracie hair, and you don't have to do anything. You pay five bucks, and she's sending you a video of her vagina with a cucumber inside. Great. I mean, anyhow... Please tell me what, what what's the fucking obsession with pornography? I, I don't I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. And why? If if you're watching pornography and at least it's giving you something in return, like what's what is it giving you? Is it teaching you on how to please a woman? Is it is the is the pornography you're watching being like Hey guys, so today in this video, we're going to teach you how to make a woman come in five seconds. So here's the example. Here's a vagina. Here's Brenda, the tits girl. Let me touch her. Let me show you how to massage her and how to make her have a lot of fun. Is that what pornography is doing? Is it teaching you guys how to please a woman? I'm just... Ah, I can't. What is it? That what what's the positive outcome of OnlyFans and pornography if it's not just to take bucks out of your pocket and make you come in five seconds and then you go back to bed fucking alone and you've got no one to tell you how special you are and that they want to die next to you and they they they, they will love you until you shit your pants at 85 years old. Like, you don't have a connection. You go back home. The girl doesn't give a fuck. She just wants you to pay. And I mean, some guys are dating those girls. You like sharing. You like sharing your woman. Even, I, you know, people are going to say, well, but she's not really sleeping with them. It's online. I'm sorry. What the fuck? Your father's going to log on to OnlyFans and is going to see your girlfriend's tit and jerk off on it. And you're okay with that? The neighbors. The neighbors are going to go outside and be like, hey, Brenda, how's it going? I love the cucumber in your asshole last night, by the way. Rock on. And you're just like going to Costco, looking at her and be like, I'm so proud of you, honey. That was a good show. That was a good show that you gave with the cucumber. The neighbors loved it. They paid for it. Like, I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> I got. Anyway, I'm going back to bed. Please <laughs> help me out here. I don't get it. Fuck.